Hey everybody, it's Sean Burke. We're getting set for uh, Sheldon Surrey. Shoots on me at the Edmonton Oil Kings game here, Rexall Place. We're actually downstairs. Why did you stick your head in a toilet? Why did I stick my head in a toilet? You'll understand when you get older. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Surrey. Get out of there, you wuss. It's Berkey. Yeah. Figured he wouldn't want any of this before the actual beatdown. Come on, buddy, get out of there. Yeah. He ain't coming out. I don't blame him. I've seen this naked. What's going to happen to Sean out there? Well, if things go according to plan, uh, Sean's going to leave with some bigger bruises than he has from the paintball. It's been uh, one month of serious trash talk, so I came I mean business today. Let's talk about the chirping a bit. Uh, he, he was beaking you pretty hard there for last month. You were pretty nice about it earlier today on the air. Was that just because it was the radio? Like, is there some deep harbored resentment there? Well, yeah, I don't think you can get the uh, deep-rooted, deep-seated hate that I'm feeling on the radio. Um, so I really want to bring that tonight. I really want to show the fans who showed up for this, the people who donated their hard money to see me try and hurt Sean. Um, I, I want to make their dreams come true today. If you can think of one uh, four-letter word starting with P that could describe what Sean is going to go through for the next little while, what would it be? Pain. <laughs> Capital P A I N. Pain. Come in here, mission, or? <laughs> you handle that bag well, Berkey. Thank you. I came here, I was a little, I thought you, you know, you've been talking this game for a month, and you come here with cartoon characters on your hockey stick. Much like Thunder and Lightning, brother. It's all going insane. Someone roars and Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game. But somehow this is wrong at about 16 different levels. What, the fact that we're in one of those hallowed dressing rooms in hockey and we're watching I'm showing. getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, players dash with skates a flash, the Oilers trail behind. And they grab the puck and go bursting up and they're down across the line. They storm the crease like bumblebees and travel like a burning flame. I'm gonna kill this guy today. That's some nice equipment. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> Jersey's pretty clean. Your smell's pretty good. You ever use it? Your mama is so fat. <laughs> oh yeah! You want something? We're going to have tons of fun with this. I tell you what, we're getting set for the Stollery Children's Hospital Radiothon that you'll hear on Kissin', our sister stations Joe and 630 Chad, uh, next week on Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, to uh, actually acknowledge some awareness about that and raise some funds, we're here for the Sheldon shoots on St Sean Stollery Radiothon. You want to see Sean get shot on? Okay, we're going to introduce our first contestant at five foot eight, weighing 203 pounds, and training all week on Twinkies and Molson Canadian from the Kissin Country Waking Crew. Sean, not the goalie Burke. Make him welcome, everybody. And now, at six foot four, weighing 233 pounds, from your Edmonton Oilers, number 44, Sheldon the Hammer Surrey. Also joining us on the ice is Bren Nardorf. And now Bren is actually currently receiving treatment at the Stollery Children's Hospital. His doctor gave him the night off to be here tonight to pass the pucks to Sheldon, so this is really cool. And what we're gonna do with this fundraiser is we've had 10 uh, wonderful uh, community people that have actually donated a thousand bucks each for every time Sheldon Surrey hits Sean Burke with the puck. Not when he scores, when he hits him with a puck. So Bren's gonna pass the pucks. Sheldon, you're wired up. You got anything to say before this starts? You got anything to say before this starts? Yeah, I just got here, so I'm a little bit cold. So if you wouldn't mind, I just want to take one warm up, just to. Okay, one warm up. Okay, Sean, you okay with that? You know what's funny is I'm ready. You're ready. He has, he has to warm up. Just I'm get ready. in the net. One warm up. Okay, let's do it quickly. Okay, get in the net, Sean. In the net. Go go ahead. In the net, Sean. In the net. Okay, Sheldon, let her go. Okay. Bad, bad. We're gonna try for real now. Again, every what? time he hits him, it's that a thousand bucks like for the story. The first game. puck, the first puck is sponsored by Brent Melville from Remax Realty in Morinville. For a thousand dollars, Sheldon, hit Sean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. We gotta try that again. Let's do that one again. All right, go ahead, Brent. <laughs> Load it up. <laughs> $1,000. Second puck is donated by Darcy Pollock from Remax Realty and Thorsby and Leduc. All right. Oh. 
two. How was that, Sean? <laughs> you guys got nothing. <laughs> number th number three from the plumbing and heating shop. A thousand dollars if Sheldon hits Sean. Go ahead, Bren. Nice. Okay. From the Devon Eye Clinic. They're going to go do donate a grand if uh, Sheldon can hit Sean again. A little bit harder. Who wants to see him go a little harder? Okay. Number Ow. five, Steve Serdachny's Power Skating and Hockey School is going to give a grand. Go ahead, Sheldon. All right. <laughs> Number six, Jermaine Contracting. Thank you to them. A thousand it's bucks. It's like last night for you, isn't it, Sir <laughs> Oh, he caught it. He caught the puck. Want some of that? Even a blind squirrel can catch a nut every once in a while. BHD <laughs> Co Companies is given the next grand. Go ahead, Sheldon. Right? Sagent Publishing is, is actually donating the next three. So let's get three in a row, Sheldon. You hit him. You got it through, but you hit him. All right. Ah, come on! We're at... <laughs> and oh, one more. Boy. Sheldon, unload. <laughs> Bren, we're going to talk to you before we talk to the two goofballs. How cool is that to shoot the pass the puck to uh, Sheldon Surrey? That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I think you're a natural for him. I think Sheldon might want you on the on the uh, at the power play tomorrow night. What do you think, Sheldon? Well, this guy for not practicing all day, he put him right on the money. Absolutely. Hey, you know what? You're at the Stollery. You appreciate everything they do for you there? Oh, yeah. Well, we wish you all the best with your uh, your operation tomorrow. We know it's going to go fine. What's your doctor's name? Um, Dr. Yap. Doctor, th thank you to him for giving you the day off to do this, huh? Yeah. All right, what about you, Sean? I give Brent a nice hand. That was wonderful. That was a good job. What about you, Sean? How was that? I sure hope you aren't blaming those weak shots on lots of ice time. <laughs> no, I had uh, no excuse. The one that... Uh, when you closed your eyes and put your arm out there and caught in your glove, that was impressive. McIntyre's next. You hear me, McIntyre? <laughs> Sheldon, obviously, uh, you, when we asked you to do this, you said no brainer. You wanted to get involved. You understand how important the stallery is. You've got two daughters of your own. Yeah, I mean, anytime that uh, you know you deal with kids and, and you realize how we're fortunate to be doing what we do and uh, to be entertaining people and be able to do something we love to do. Uh, there's a lot of kids in the crowd here and around the world that would love to be uh, in our shoes and sometimes we take things like that for granted. So when you guys asked me to come and participate in this and to see how the city uh, stepped up and donated a lot of money here today for uh, a pretty goofy little event was, was really impressive and uh, uh, proud to be a part of it. Uh, we're proud to have you. Edmonton's own Sheldon Surrey, you got your start in the WHL, so this has to bring back memories. You had a, a few of the Oil King uh, members that aren't playing right now in the dressing room. You remember those days, don't you? I do. That's where, you know, hockey started getting serious. And I remember playing in front of uh, the first kind of big crowds like, like this, and it was even overwhelming for a 16-year-old. And, you know, the natural progression to, to come back home and play for the Oilers is a, a, a dream come true. And you just see by the people showing up here to support the Oil Kings that... Uh, Hockey is alive and well here in Alberta. Sheldon Surrey, he's got uh, 30 minutes a game, and in between games, he does this for us. Let's give him a big hand. Thank you again to Sean Burke as well. What hurts? Does anything hurt? Nothing hurts. It's all good. Honestly, I've got two little girls, Jordan and Peyton. This for you guys and uh, for everybody at the Stollery. We're thinking about you, and uh, like Sheldon, this was a no-brainer. $10,000 raise for the Stollery really quickly. Our sponsors one more time, Brent Melville from Remax Realty in Morinville, Darcy Pollock from Remax Realty in Thorsby and Leduc, the Plumbing and Heating Shop, Devon Eye Clinic, Steve Serdachny's Power Skating and Hockey School, Jermaine Contracting, BHD Companies, Suggett Publishing as well. Stollery volunteers, by the way, are behind sections 118 and 120 right now, and they'd love for you to donate to start our Radiothon next week. Thank you all so much, and go Oil Kings, go! Give these two a big hand one more time.